What's up, guys? Cody here today with what you can take away from a lost game. So, typically, um, when I lose a game, I don't try to worry too much about it because. Most times, I don't play bad, and it's everybody else on my team that plays bad, unfortunately. Um, it's just, it, but it, it is very frustrating, though, to do good and lose. But uh, there's always something that you can take out of it, whether it just be that you played you played well and you just that's that's good in itself and that's all that really needs to be that's all you really need to think about is that I played well, I just need to play that well in my next game. I did good, the rest of my team didn't, and that's fine. Um or whether it be like uh for me for me I it's hard for me to think of things to improve upon, um when I'm doing the best I can. But uh like, for right now, I probably should have pinged my jungler to come a bit more often than what he did. I probably should have, uh, later on in the game, pinged a bit more. See, right now, I'm pinging for help. But, um, Re Rek'Sai doesn't, um, do multiple ganks for me. Uh, and, um... That's the only gank he ever actually gives, and it becomes an issue. So, that being said, I should have probably aimed a bit more myself. Regardless of whether mechanic wise I did fine this game or not, um, because you can be fine on. Cause most games I'm fine mechanic wise 99% uh, of the time. Just because I've gotten to that point, but uh, simple, just simple things like that. Even when uh, you have a good game, there's always something to improve upon, and so that's one of the things you can take away. It's just always be looking for improvement. And another thing, uh, don't get so mad at your teammates when they do bad and you do good, because yes, it's annoying to lose games. But it, you're, you shouldn't base, you shouldn't base <laughs> your um the purpose of the game for just winning. If that's your ultimate purpose, then it doesn't matter what you do, and you it's just the bad mentality because you're not going to be looking to improve. So if all you're doing is trying to win, you're going to be very toxic and you're not going to you're not going to be you're you're not going to improve and get better. So But don't don't get mad at your your teammates necessarily if they're annoying then, uh, you know, if they keep on complaining about this, that, or the other, or if they keep on yelling at everybody, or they just don't get the idea that they have to do A, B, or C, um, and it gets to the point where it's really annoying because I've had that in a lot of games. Um, say you're... <laughs> I what I do is I say what I need to say to them, um, get it out of my system, and knowing that they won't listen to me anyways, knowing that they won't care about the thing that I just said, uh, I just mute them after that because I know it's not going to get any better for them. So I just kind of I just do that because it's um it's just easier. Um, because sometimes sometimes there are people that I don't that just don't understand like that it's that they're the reason why they're doing bad so it's those people are very frustrating 
because they can, they blame everybody else for the mistakes happening um, when they're the ones that are doing bad. They're like one in seven and they keep on blaming somebody else. Um, so. Unfortunately for me this game it was um, like I said I didn't get enough help. And most games that go like this. Most of my losses are like this, where I do decent. I'm up against a York this game, and so it's considering the condition I'm in, I'm surprised. You know, it's going this good for me. It's I got first blood, and I'm up almost up in CS. So right now things are going pretty good for me. The tower is taking damage. But unfortunately though, the rest of my team is losing. So which happens a lot. The the issue I have in a lot of my games is that everybody else on my team just loses. Um one of the issues that they have and it's a very it's an issue that people just don't it's having bad people on your team is very frustrating just because of the fact that you you know that you can't win with some of these people <laughs> Um, and it, the, the really frustrating part is when it happens, um, several games in a row, but like I said, it, the, you gotta be able to just try and take away something from it, and I'm, um, with games like these, I'm happy with myself for the performance that I had, because I know I did good. And so it's only a matter of time before I, you know, win games, because technically speaking, um, as long as you keep doing good, you will continue to rise in rank. Um, whether it take a while or not, you will continue to get better and get up in rank. You will get where you belong, but until, but it will take time. <laughs> Um, so, and if, another thing, if you can be happy with a losing game, that in itself, um, shows that you are becoming a better player. So, that's really all for it, for, for me right now. Um, we lose this game. I end up going 6-1-5. and five. Um, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, our Rex I keeps on dying. Um, our Corky, um, this game was really good about making, about uh, calling out uh, the timers on stuff for their spells. And trying to coordinate the team, but it just wasn't happening because our Rex I was just being a dumbass and dying. So. We did what we we did what we could, and yeah, it just didn't work out, unfortunately. But like I said, you gotta just deal with losses and just figure out what you can learn from them. If you do bad, then just remember, just try to figure out what you could do to be better. In your game, um, see what you did wrong. See how what the enemy was doing, and like, were you killed a lot by the jungler? Ward more. Be more careful. Were you killed a lot by your lane opponent? Know your matchup better, etc., etc. Things like that. So for mo for me, it's not a matter of me getting better. Most times, it's a matter of me just communicating better I think with my team but yeah thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed remember to like and subscribe if you did and see y'all in the next one